You forgive what? You forgive who? I will rather die than to forgive such wicked soul. That young man is wicked. I still remember all you did for him. All the money you spent on him. All the love and attention you gave him. How dare he? Well, that's where forgiveness comes in. I'll forgive him. I forgive him with the whole of my heart. To err us human. So human beings must permanently err and offend you. But I have made up my mind to have peace. My peace is my asset. And I don't want to trade it for anything. So you mean you have forgiven him? After all he did to you? Yes, I have forgiven him. I forgive him with my whole heart. hello guys welcome back to my channel how are you guys doing hope you guys are doing great i'm so happy to be back with another interesting story have you had trouble with forgiving someone well Today's story is all about forgiveness. For me, forgiveness simply means choosing to let go of anger towards yourself or someone else. Please sit still and let's continue. Hey, 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 Miss Sharon. Come over here! Can't you see me? Oh, my friend. Come on, it's been a while. Yes. How are the kids? They are fine. Feels good to see you. Same here. How is work? Work is fine. And yours? We bless God. Yes. There is something I heard. But I said to myself, I must confirm from you, to be sure. Really? Yes. I heard Emmanuel is back. Is that true? Yes, that is correct. He came back last week. Really? Where is he now? He is at my place. He is even at home right now. Doing what? Doing what? Sister Sharon, you still allow that it, this, this young man, I mean, that criminal to stay even a minute at your place? What kind of heart do you have? My dear sister, as long as you are in this world, offenses must come. The only person that is not offended is a dead person. People must offend you. You can never truly satisfy people. No. No. This is unacceptable. After all you did for him, my dear, the goal is to be sincere and do your best. And yes, I did my best for Emmanuel. I brought him into my life. I adopted him as a sick child, even when everyone else rejected him. I treated him like my own son. And the only way he could pay me back is to steal from me. Emmanuel sold all my properties took away my large sum of money and ran out of the country only for him to come back two years later battered and empty-handed asking me to forgive him well, I forgive him you forgive what? you forgive who? I would rather die to forgive such wicked soul. 
I still remember all you did for him. All the money you spent on him. All the love you showed him. I remembered everything you did for him. The same boy was rejected by everyone because of his health. But you were kind enough to adopt him. You gave him everything. Everything. Well, that is where forgiveness comes in. Emmanuel said he has asked God for forgiveness. But for restoration he must still meet me. Emmanuel begged me. He lied down flat. He shed tears, he cried. He held my legs and said even if I don't want to accept him as a son anymore, he is ready to be a slave to me. And I could see genuine repentance in him. My dear sister, will it be comfortable for you if I say you are a very foolish person? You are already insulting me. Yes, I think it is foolish to still keep that greedy and ungrateful soul in your house. Even the Bible says we should be wise as serpents. Don't let that boy take advantage of your kind heart. And same Bible say, above all, love each other. Because love covers over a multitude of sins. And who says I will allow Emmanuel to deceive me again? You see, my dear sister, I appreciate your love and care towards me. But you see, to err is human, so human beings must permanently err and offend you. But I have made up my mind to have peace. My peace is my asset. And I don't want to trade it for anything. And also the Mark 11.35 says, Whenever you stand praying, forgive if you have anything against anyone, so that your Father also who is in heaven may forgive you. What this means is that, whatever makes you to hold the sins of people against them, makes God to hold your sins against you. Access to God in prayer is hindered by unforgiveness. Your access to God is blocked by unforgiveness. So, you mean you have forgiven him? After all he did to you? Yes. I have forgiven him. I forgive him with my whole heart. You still want to accept him as a son? I forgive him 